Right, who says you can't grow palm trees in the UK? I've been saying for a while I'd do an update on the flamethrower palm when it kicks out that new leaf and opens up and gives you that nice the namesake of the palm flame throw a nice red flame effect so let's have a look at that first so this is a plant I've had in this pot for maybe it's definitely a second year it's been in that pot but anyway it's uh, quite a nice Fairly cold tolerant palm, not hardy outside obviously, but that does take a little bit of cooler weather. I'm not going to go into the ins and outs of all these growing conditions for these palms, other than the fact that they're outside for summer and indoors for winter. So, the flamethrower palm. It has been raining overnight, but we can see this. It's sort of Dulled down a little bit, I missed it really. It, it, it does sort of come out bright red and it's sort of now starting to dull a little bit to a burgundy red and then it'll turn green basically to the, the colour of the other fronds. But yeah, it's a that is a nice tropical looking palm without the, the fussiness of a true tropical, and uh, you get this nice red flame leaf when it comes out it'll last like that for I don't know one or two weeks before it changes and yeah just with the with the, the wide leaflets it just gives it a, a totally different look to a lot of other sort of feather palms so that is a little look at the flamethrower Um, it's a Latin name, Chamberonia macrocarpa. There are a few palms that do this, but I think this is the most well known. When I say do this, I mean send out a, a red or a slightly different coloured leaf and then changes as it matures. So that is the flamethrower palm, quite nice. Um, had it for three years now from a fairly small plant so let's put on a bit of size um trunk's not too bad it's thick up it's not huge but it is a crown shafted palm all right it's to another palm which is uh trying to open a new frond we can see here you might guess from the the leaflets on this one, foxtail palm, wood yeti yeah, bifurcata. Um, I guess the bifurcata comes from the bi pinnate of the leaves because they're not on one flat plane, they, they come out at all different angles. So, a little bit different for a palm, you know, you expect the uh, well, in, in a way it looked a little bit like a fishtail palm, the, the leaflets on these. But um, yeah, as they get bigger and fuller, foxtail. Self-explanatory really. This is another palm that's been doing quite well. I've had this again for probably, I probably got it at the same time as the flamethrower. Um, probably put on a little bit more height. It's fairly quick growing. I say quick, obviously in this UK environment it's not going to be fast like it would be in uh, Florida or whatnot but even so that's done well it has wanted to push itself out of the pot I mean I did give this a good inch and I've had to uh, a good inch rim around the pot and I've had to build up the soil and it's still pushing out so I'm gonna have to repot this I won't be doing it now that'll be a spring job but yeah, I can see uh, nearly an inch of roots sticking out there, so that will have to go in a deeper pot. Some part, you know, palms specifically, they, they have quite deep roots and they, they'll hit the bottom of the pot. Some will just curl around at the bottom of the pot, but some will 
push themselves out, which is what this has done. Yeah, so that's the, the foxtail palm. Pushed out a new frond, looking quite nice. Not done too bad. I already done a little bit of an update on the bottle palm. So we know it's uh, starting to widen up at the bottom here. It's getting there. Living up to his namesake, starting to bottle out a little bit. And that has started to open a new frond there. Like I say, I've done a <clears throat> video a few days ago about that. This is a palm I haven't really mentioned this year. This is the sugar palm or Oranga angli. This is another one that's potentially got a bit of cold tolerance. And this is one that I've actually kept <clears throat> in my summer house over winter. Pretty much unheated, just frost protected. So that's overwintered fine. Um, quite a nice, again, wide leaf. Looks quite tropical looking. Doesn't like full sun. So this has been in a part shade position, but this is the, the frond is now trying to open up. Um, yeah, I can't really tell you much about it other than what I know, which isn't a lot. I know that it can take the odd frost, but it definitely won't be hardy outside. Long term anyway, so that is a potted specimen. Easy enough to take in, like we say, over winter. So I hope that this is uh, interesting and maybe inspire you to try a different palm rather than this, you know, standard uh, Trekkiacarpus or Camrops humus, which is obviously the, the common ones in this country, along with um, Canariensis. But yeah, I don't think there's nothing wrong with having a, a patio or potted palm, which you can just have a house plant over winter or, you know, keep in a, a greenhouse. I, I definitely think that the the sugar palm would uh, be absolutely fine in a unheated greenhouse over winter. Um, the flamethrower palm would probably be okay with frost protection in a, you know, in a, a semi-heated greenhouse, if you like, over winter where it doesn't go below freezing. Bottle palm is obviously a true tropical. That doesn't really want to be under. That'll take sort of. I don't, wouldn't like to see a frost. I don't think that that wouldn't wouldn't be happy at all. That that definitely take damage at frost level and struggle. Foxtail palm, probably a little bit hardier than the bottle. That'll take a frost here and there, but again, it wouldn't wouldn't be happy in a long term situation over winter. So that's want to bring inside. Right, so there's uh, four palms that you may not necessarily see in the UK growing outside for summer, but like we say, we like to try different things. And uh, yeah, I've managed to keep all these. I've had three years plus now. And uh, obviously as they get bigger, it gets a little bit more awkward. Um, <clears throat> last year I had the bottle palm as a house plant indoors in my front room and I, I loved it there but you know it's starting to get some bigger leaves on it now so that might have to push out some other house plants to, to accommodate that anyway let's not go on too much again four slightly more unusual palms but if you can find them I wouldn't suggest jumping into loads of palms at once, but you know, just try one or two potted palms and uh, you know, they, they bring a different feel to the garden and definitely uh, I, I enjoy growing them. Alright, leave it at that. Thanks for watching.